My grandfather fought the Japanese here in World War II and never left, married a local girl. My father was native born and a sergeant major, so I'm second generation military. And from the time I was 10, I wanted to... My name's Perna, and I'm gonna tell you about the worst bloody holiday ever. I was at the Royal Palms Resort on Benoit, working as a bodyguard for some asshole CEO. I figured once he left the island, I'd have a good week to relax on the beach, enjoy a Mai Tai or two. But no, that wasn't to be. As I woke up one morning to discover that the goddamn zombie apocalypse had arrived. A local lifeguard by the name of Cinnamon saved my life. Soon after that, I discovered I was immune to whatever this plague was. I met a few others who were immune, and somehow we were all elected to save everybody else. There was Sam B, a one-hit wonder hip-hop star from the States. Logan, an ex-football player and full-time douchebag who never missed a chance to hit on me. And Shin Mei, a sweet little hotel clerk who was as brutal with a blade as anyone I had ever seen. Together, we went to Norsby to try to gather more supplies. And from there, things really went to hell. The army tried to contain the infection, but they were bloody useless. Benoy itself was totally isolated. It was pretty clear we were on our own. At this point, we just wanted off that goddamn island. And that's what led us to that maximum security prison. You see, some dickhead colonel by the name of Ryder White lied to get us to track down what he thought was a cure for this zombie plague. Well, that cure ended up turning White into a giant bloody maniac. Luckily, we hooked up with a prisoner who flew us out of there on the Colonel's helicopter. We were off that goddamn island at last. And everyone we tried to save back on Benoy, well, they just didn't make it. Except for that little native girl, Yerima. We spotted that naval vessel just in time, as we were just about out of petrol. We couldn't believe how lucky we were to finally find a safe haven. Get your hands off me! What the hell? What is going on here? Oh, get off me! Uh, get it off me! Get it off! What's with the cuffs? Sorry, but I can't take any chances. My orders are to take you into custody and transport you to a secure quarantine area. And who the hell are you? Lieutenant Colonel... They have a very high tolerance, Mr. Serpo. 
I've already administered three doses. So how much longer? You said we'd have results by now. Sir, this is uncharted territory. We'll need another day at least. Just be careful. We don't want them dying on us. What about the native woman, Yerima? That's a more complicated case. She's being taken to another location. Don't worry. I'm keeping a close eye. Oh, God. Oh, my head. Oh. Oh. What the hell happened? The motherfuckers drugged us. Who are you? Hey, we're talking to you. I'm nobody, really. You've been bitten. How long has it been? Long enough. I guess it doesn't affect me. So you immune too? So it seems. What? They plant you here to spy on us? <laughs> <laughs> right. That's one beat to shit like this. It's all part of my cover. So they tested you too? Yeah. I'm guessing they're trying to figure out why we're all immune to this. How'd you get here? I was a soldier before the shit hit the fan. Part of a huge humanitarian search and rescue operation. And then that civilian arrived. So. Oh, God, my head. Hey, where are the others? Well, they must have taken it when I was out. This is a fucking dog's breakfast. This is Colonel Hardy. The ship's been compromised. If you're down in the hold, I'm opening all the cell doors. I better head topside and get my bearings. Looks like the... Find a weapon. Bastards still trying to command a dead ship.
I should be clear. Whoever took care of that, you deserve a commentary. You just saved a lot of lives. Gotta find a way out of here. 